What's good y'all? It's your girl Des P and I am back at it again with another video. As you guys know, we are about to get into my closet transformation video. If y'all follow me on Instagram, then y'all already know your girl transformed her entire closet as y'all can see behind me. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys the entire transformation process from start to finish. But before we get into the transformation, I want to give a huge thank you to A Rose Forever for sponsoring today's video and sending over this lovely bouquet of a roses. If you guys are familiar with my channel, then y'all know this is not my first time working with Rose Forever. They sent me a bouquet a couple years ago, and y'all, it is just now dying. Rose Forever is all about preserving the natural beauty of fresh flowers, and they definitely look fresh and new. However, they are meant to last forever. They use 100% natural oils to ensure that each rose in their bouquet is as vibrant as the day as it was picked. And these masterpieces are handcrafted by flower artisans, you guys. Y'all know me, I'm a pink girl. Pink is my favorite color, but Rose Forever does have a huge variety of different arrangements, so you can get whatever color it is you like. They also have different sizes, so I believe I have the medium or large size bouquet. I will have all the information for this one down below in the description box, but they do have smaller bouquets. They have bouquets with a different packaging. I decided to go with the black, gold, and pink scheme because I felt like that matched my closet room. But if you guys are interested in something a little bit more elegant like an acrylic box they could do that for you as well whether you prefer a round box a heart-shaped box a square box girl they have you they have so many different options so many different bouquets to choose from so if you guys have been looking around for flowers whether they be for yourself or for your loved ones make sure y'all check out rose forever as you guys can see the bouquets are the most beautiful bouquets that you're gonna get for a very affordable price at that so if you guys are interested in rose forever make sure y'all check down below in my description box for their website link as well as a direct link to my bouquet that I picked out. I do have a coupon code with them as well so you guys can use my coupon code here to get $20 off of your entire order. Make sure y'all use my code so that they know Despy sent you and if y'all try them out comment down below and let me know what y'all think. But yeah without further ado we all know why y'all are here. Let's get into this closet transformation video. What's good y'all? It's your girl Des P and I am back at it again with another video. Y'all already read the title and seen the intro so y'all already know today we are going to be transforming my closet. If y'all have been watching me since I first moved into this apartment and I did the apartment tour which I'm pretty sure I took down off of my channel now. But if you guys seen that video or if y'all just watch my vlogs and y'all know I have a really nice size walk-in closet but I've been complaining about this closet literally for the past like year. I just don't have any space for anything you guys. Like I have so many shoes. I do get a lot of clothes sent to me because you guys know I do hauls, but I have nowhere to put this stuff. Like, the clothes have been piling up. I tried to buy, like, those Rubbermaid three-tier, like, the little three-drawer organizers, girl. Those ended up collapsing because I have so many clothes in them, so it's just a mess. We have to get it together. So, I'm going to show you guys what my closet is looking like right now, and then we're going to go ahead and head out so that we can pick up all the stuff that we need. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, I actually was not going to record this video. So I did semi start um, not like full-blown renovations But I did already buy one of the bookshelves that we're gonna be using for this little DIY And that was only because one I wasn't sure if I was gonna record like a full-blown transformation video And also two I kind of just wanted to get a feel for the size of the bookshelf and how it would look in my closet So I could see you know how many I might need how big it's gonna be if I'll be able to fit clothes on it and etc So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the closet right now Like I said, I do have that one bookshelf that's already in there already put together y'all can just ignore that and I also do want to give another disclaimer my closet was way worse than this like my closet looks bad right now I'm letting y'all know it's not like dirty but it's pretty like jam-packed so it kind of gives junky it's not even that it's junky it's just very unorganized and it's just a lot going on in there because it's so much stuff but this isn't even everything. I already pulled out so many clothes. Y'all can see all this stuff over here. This is literally a bunch of new clothes from my haul. And then y'all can see I have like the clothes in the drawers that collapsed. I also have this big hamper out here that I already took out. This is filled with like purses and bags and stuff that was in my closet. So as y'all can see, your girl has a lot of stuff and that's not even everything. That's just the stuff that's not in the closet. So let's go ahead, get into the closet. I'll do like a before tour. I'm sorry y'all, the lighting is going in and out, but I'll do like a quick tour of what my closet looks like right now. 
And then, um, of course, we're going to go ahead and head out and get everything that we need for this little DIY. So, let's get into it. All right, besties. So, as you guys can see, we are in my closet right now. The lighting is horrible in here. So, I'm going to try to go ahead and do the tour. But I'm going to try to do it pretty quick. So, bear with me, okay? So, when you first come into my closet, I have all of my, like, comforters set and, like, pillows and stuff on the floor. I throw it in my closet because we don't sleep with this stuff. But, yeah, as you guys can see, here is an overview of my closet it's not super big but it is very like long and honestly it is a really nice size closet like it's pretty spacious in here so this is what it's looking like so far right here i have some more of those little like clear organizers i keep all of my like loungewear sleepwear underwear bras and stuff like that in here and then on top of that i have my little jewelry organizer and then the way my closet is made you have all of these like wired racks it goes all the way down so there's one right here one right here and then another in the back where all my shoes is so many shoes literally just piled up all over the floor and then i have some jackets right here these are not all of my coats and jackets i actually took all of my winter coats and stuff out a couple weeks ago and put them in the storage outside only because it's summertime it's too hot for a coat so these are just like jackets that i'm able to wear in the spring and summer if i ever need and then like i said i have my comforter stuff here i have camera bags and like equipment and stuff down there all of my like sweatsuits and stuff is all up here please disregard the fact that everything is not perfectly folded right now y'all i literally was rushing the other day grabbing stuff and i never fixed it so yeah these are all of my sweatpants and like sweatshirts hoodies stuff like that as you walk into the closet up under that i have all of my sneakers over here and there's also like some boots and stuff mixed in I have this little basket in this corner. This has more purses in it. And then I don't know if y'all can see, but all right here, this is just a bunch of purses and shoes. Like I said, I have the first bookshelf that I bought here right now. This is not going to stay right here. Um, It will be moved. So y'all will see how that looks. Just put it together to kind of see how tall it was. But yeah, behind this, there isn't anything. I pretty much cleared the floor off back there. And then up at the top, I have all of my like heels and sandals and stuff. I have a few more shoes over here. I'm back in that corner over there as well. And then up here, I have a few of my jeans that I have yet to hang. And then coming to the right side of the closet, I have all the rest of my like jeans and skirts and bottoms and stuff. I got these little like closet hangers i believe from one of my old friends for my birthday i think it was or like i don't know what it was maybe it was moving in i don't know but she gave these to me so i've been using them i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue to use these though we'll see um but yeah i have all of my like pants and stuff there and then to the right of that i have all of my like more dressy clothes like dresses and stuff like that like just clothes that I kind of wanted to display. I do have to go through all of these clothes to see what I want to get rid of, but we haven't got to that just yet. Um, up under my pants, I have another one of these little bins. Like I told y'all, it did collapse. So y'all can see right here where it's like kind of collapsing in. That's why there's a drawer missing here. I am going to end up throwing this away. As y'all can see, I have so many clothes to the point where it's literally breaking. Like they're busting out drawers, girl. It's so much stuff. That's not it, girl. Behind all of this stuff, there's more stuff so tucked all behind these clothes is more like shoe boxes and stuff i don't know if y'all can see but literally it's just like hella shoes up under here like boots and stuff and over beside this one over here i have my luggage and just like my travel stuff and then up at the top it's just a basket that i keep like random hats and stuff in some random jewelry and yeah just all of this so yeah, y'all, that's what the closet is looking like right now. I'm about to go ahead and head out and head to Target so we could pick up a couple more bookshelves. I think I'm going to pick up three of them. And I was also there earlier this week and I saw a cute little like ottoman chair thing. So I'm going to grab that as well if it's still there. And we'll have like a little bench or something to put in there. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head out now and I'll see y'all once we get there.
All right, you guys, so we're finished up in Target. I'm sorry I didn't get the best footage in there for y'all because my boyfriend was carrying the um, other bookshelf that didn't fit in the cart, and he was kind of rushing me, girl. I guess it was heavy, and he was ready to go. So I'm sorry about that, but I will have the links for everything that I use for this little transformation down below in the description box if you guys see anything in this video that y'all do want to go ahead and grab. It will be down there. I did end up picking up three more of the shelves. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use all three. I might just be able to do two. I don't know we're gonna see how it goes hopefully i'll have enough room to be able to fit all four but yeah i went ahead grabbed everything that i needed y'all saw i also got the ottoman as well yeah this is everything for today and i'll see y'all once we get home and it's time to start sorting through clothes all right you guys i just made it back home i'm about to take my nails off i ended up hurting one of them um when I was bringing the stuff inside. So I took that one off and I'm like, I might as well just go ahead, take the rest of them off. So I'm about to say I repeated this set. It was so cute, y'all. Like, definitely one of my faves. But yeah, I'm about to chill for a little bit. And then once I start going through all those clothes back there and all the clothes that's in the closet and like seeing what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, I will come pick you guys back up and we can get into that. It's literally 10.30. We're about to go ahead, take all the clothes out of here. Girl, I really don't know where I'm about to put all these clothes. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to put them, like, on my couch. And then for all my shoes, I'm going to kind of just, like, stack them up in my, um, like, kitchen area. I'm going to turn my music on and just get to it. And we're going to see how this goes, y'all. Please pray for me. Because, one, I do not want to be doing this all night. Like I said, it's already 1030. I want to be done with this by, like... 11 30 really 11 o'clock child but i know that's not gonna happen i saw a lot of videos of people taking these railings off their wall and they said it was hard so i'm a little bit nervous about that but we gonna get it done regardless so i'm about to go ahead and get to it right now i'm gonna turn my music on and i'm gonna probably try to sit you guys up on one of the shelves before i take it off so y'all could kind of see what i do to one shelf and then yeah, hopefully I don't like break my back, child. I'm so scared, but let's get to it. All you wanna do is gas me. How we end up in a backseat? Just trying to get to the bag. We on the same page, you're the same way. Only keep the fam around me. So let me know what it's gonna be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing nothing? Moving too fast Candy paint with the windows all back See it's grand roulette That's what they gon' say With the chop down screaming money in the day We'll be up till six in the morning When the sunrise will be on it Boy, I got five, you want so live Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide Baby, when we gon' slide All right, you guys, so I got everything off of majority of the railings. The only thing that I didn't do yet is the back railing because y'all see how many shoes that is. I'm not trying to get up there and do that right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this side one off and then take this side one off. Yeah, y'all, this is not going to be a one-day process. It is currently... 11 at night like i told y'all i wanted to be done by 11 30 so i probably spent another 30 minutes taking the rails off and we'll see hopefully fingers crossed it won't take too long y'all but yeah you could do this in one day if you wanted to like i said i need to patch up the walls if i would have did this earlier then the stuff probably would have had time to dry but i didn't do it earlier so i have to do it tonight that way it'll be dry tomorrow and then tomorrow i'll start building the shelves and all of that i'm excited to see what it turns out looking like but i'm about to go eat and i'll be back in a little bit all right you guys so it is now day two of trying to get this closet together last night i attempted to take down the rack but i could not do it because i don't know if you guys can see but these little pegs or whatever you call them right in the middle 
they have this what looks to be screw and it looks like it's supposed to be a phillips head but it's not a phillips head last night i'm sitting here turning it and turning it and turning it and nothing is happening so i assume that the screw was stripped it is not stripped so i'm about to try to do that right now i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm really tired i did not feel like doing this today i've literally been like sleep all day as y'all can see i got the same outfit on i literally rolled out the bed and was like let me try to do this so i'm gonna try to hurry up and get it together because i want to get majority of the closet done this week because i have a lot of content that i need to film and i'm not gonna have time to work on it next week so let me get my big ass up here i'm standing on a little ass step stool y'all like literally it's mad small so i'm gonna try to be careful i don't know if i'm getting the best angles but look y'all gonna have to make do with what we got okay So I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> okay, I figured it out for real this time. It's not a screw. It's not a screw. It's a nail with a screw at the top. I don't know why anyone would ever make anything like this to, to confuse the girls. That's literally my only explanation is they did not want me to know how to take this off. But now that I figured it out, Oh yeah, it's on and popping, okay? Something told me to take the hammer and do this. And bitch is working, okay? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Handy D, okay? Yeah. Damn, I'm really doing that shit. Wait, D's come out too? Oh shit, okay. Pull it out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What is this? Did this just fall out of my wall? It literally looked like that just came out of the wall. What? Once you get it out a little bit, it's kind of easier. It should be able to get a hammer. This is a man's job. I'm trying to make sure I don't like swing back and knock myself out with the hammer. Alright you guys, so update, I was able to get this right now. I didn't make a tiny mistake, so there's this screw right here. I don't know if y'all could tell, but like the inside of the screw is all messed up. I'm assuming whoever was in this apartment before me did like their own little DIY closet thing or whatever. Because you could tell right here where this was patched up. But the screw right here, they messed up putting it back in the wall. So I wasn't able to get it out. So I kind of had to like break the little plastic piece off and the screw is stuck in the wall. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out. Hopefully y'all were able to like see how to get it off. Like I said, the only thing is this. Like when you see this, you're gonna think it's a flathead screw. Girl, it is not. These are nails. Um, after you take all these nails off, you're gonna move into taking off these screws. It's only, well at least in my closet, there's only a couple of them and it has those nails over here again so after you take out these nails take this off you'll be able to unscrew these phillips head screws phillip head phillips head i don't know you'll be able to remove these screws and then after you remove these screws you'll be able to lift the wiring off the wall then once you lift the wiring off the wall you'll then proceed to pull out the screws that are in 
these little pieces not the screws the nails you'll proceed to pull out the nails that are in these little pieces along the back if y'all are visual learners girl i'm so sorry um but yeah i'm gonna do all this and then i'll be back i have already taken most of the shelving off of the wall i just have this one left and then i don't know if i updated you guys on this bookcase but i ended up taking all of my sweatsuits and stuff from off of one of the racks and putting it all on this bookshelf just so that i have somewhere to put them while i'm doing all of this because they are already folded i'm about to go ahead and take out the rest of these clothes in my closet and then we're gonna come in here fill these holes vacuum and that's gonna be it for tonight i want to show y'all how my living room looks right now because it's insane oh also update i took my nails off girl because I'm in here taking these rails off and it was real hard and I hit one of my nails. It was hurting real bad. So I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and take all these off before I hurt myself. Yeah. But anyway, let me show y'all what my living room is looking like right now. Y'all. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see this? This is ridiculous. And this isn't even all of my clothes. Like, that's sick. All these shoes over here. Y'all, this isn't even a quarter. Y'all saw I still have all those shoes that I have to bring in here. This is ridiculous. Catch me dangerous. Been so lost without you all about me. Get anxious. Catch me. Don't break yourself about you. Need to talk right now. Feeling lost, but I like it. Comfort in my sense. Not about me. you guys i finished taking out all the railings and then i also patched up all the holes that are in the wall um i actually do have a couple more that i am gonna have to patch over here because i wasn't able to get this screw out and then i wasn't able to take the little end pieces off i'm gonna have to do that tomorrow and then that'll be it tomorrow all i need to do is go to lowe's yeah y'all i'm tired so i'm gonna do one last vacuum and then we're gonna wrap it up for the night all right you guys it's like I don't even know what day. I think it's like day three. But right now, we are going to Home Depot. Let's just get into it real quick. I put in an order yesterday to pick up the rest of the stuff that I needed for the DIY. I had to get some more stuff to um, cover the holes because I was running out of joint compound. And I heard that it's easier to just use like the DAP little hole filler stuff anyway. Like the stuff that's pink and then it turns white. Everybody be using it for DIYs. So I picked up some of that. Also, y'all know I use a joint compound to fill the other holes, so I'm going to have to sand that joint compound down. So I got a hand little sander. Hopefully, it won't be hard to do without the electric one because it is a little bit thick. But I feel like I do nails and I be hand filing all the time with like stuff that be thicker. Like I feel like a, like acrylic be kind of thicker than that. So hopefully, I'll be able to buff it out on my own. If not, I'm going to have to buy an electric one and this is going to take longer for me to do. But we'll see once we get there. Um, I also had to pick up paint because like I said, I use a joint compound to cover the holes in the wall so you can see like the color is a different, like it's not the same type of white. Um, so I got some of that. I also had to get the stuff that you need to paint like the paint rollers and the pan and all of that. Um, what else did I grab? Oh, I also had to get the rods for the shelves as well as some screws. They said they were out of screws. Hopefully they found them. If not, I'm going to have to go somewhere and get some screws. I really don't want to. The guy that I talked to yesterday said that he would go and check for me because he wasn't sure why I said they were out of stock. So hopefully they have them. If they don't have them, then whenever I get to the part where I have to screw in the rods, I'm going to have to go to like Lowe's or something and get the right size screws if they don't fit. 
So I think that's pretty much everything. I'll show y'all, of course, everything we use step by step. But today the goal is fill the other holes on the opposite side of the wall that are behind the bookshelves, sand down the joint compound, paint the wall, and put the shelves up. This is for like the baddest bitch in the world right now. Like it's getting the I N D E P E N T E N T. This stuff says it takes one to five hours to dry. So right now, I'm about to just let all of the spackling dry, and then I'm about to go outside and spray paint the rods that I got for shelves. So. Basically, I picked up four rods, got them all from Home Depot, and I'm going to spray paint them satin black, basically matte black. I seen a couple girls on TikTok spray painting them black as well, so fingers crossed I won't struggle. And then really all we have left after I um do the sanding of the spackle and then paint the walls is just put together the shelves and bring them in here. I'm about to go ahead and get started on the little spray paint project, and we'll see how that goes. If y'all can hear this echo, I'm sorry, but I just want to show y'all the paint that I'm using before I go ahead and start painting in here. I am very nervous to paint in here as well because, number one, y'all know I'm short as fuck. I'm like 5'3", girl. I cannot reach the top of these ceilings. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to reach the top of this wall, but I'm going to have to make it work because I don't have no one tall here to help me. And I'm not about to sit here and wait until my boyfriend gets off work at 8 o'clock, girl. It is only like 5 yeah it's literally 5 14 right now like i'm not waiting hours for him to get off work to get this done so i'm about to go ahead and try to paint i do have a little step stool but even with the step stool i'm still not tall enough to reach the top of the wall so hopefully everything works out but as far as painting goes this is the paint that i'm going to be using i have no idea if this is good paint or not y'all i literally just did a pickup order at lowe's and this was i mean not lowe's i literally just did a pickup order at home depot and i believe this was like the cheapest gallon of paint so this is what i got um i am going in with a semi gloss i'm using semi gloss because my apartment is already painted with flat paint and i hate flat paint I tell y'all this in my vlogs all the time like i hate flat paint and this is the exact reason why do y'all see how filthy this wall is? Mind you, I don't even come in here for real. Like, this is not a high traffic area at all. Yet, yeah, it's still dirty as any little scuff, any little fingerprint flat paint is gonna pick it up. And it's super hard to clean. Like, y'all know how most people, they'll just spot clean their walls with magic eraser. I can't do that, y'all. That will literally take the paint off of my wall. Which is what happened in both my kitchen and in my bedroom. Which is why whenever I be filming in my vanity, I always tell y'all, like, this wall behind me looks so dirty. It's not that it's dirty. It's just the fact that it's missing paint. Like, it's a patchy paintwork at this point because I took the paint off. So, I don't want to have to deal with that no more. So, I decided to go with a semi-gloss. Semi-gloss is still gonna give kind of that matte look but it'll be shiny enough to the point where i can clean this yeah i'm rambling anywho this is the paint that we picked up we're gonna get it done i really i'm over it y'all 
I did not get the best footage of me painting this room because my camera ended up dying on me. Well, first it overheated on me and I was fed up. But then after it ended up coming on, it ended up dying on me. So the room is fully painted. This is not the best paint job, child. I'm already knowing, but it's way better than what it was at first. And up at the top, like right near the ceiling, I could not reach it. But I feel like it'll be fine. You can't really tell at all. But yeah, the room is now painted. Um, all I have left to do is mount the mirror. And then I'm going to bring my vanity in here. And I do still have to build three more of the shelves. So I'm about to go ahead and build the shelves now. Um, I honestly really don't feel like it. But I have to work tomorrow. So I really want this project as complete as it's going to be by tomorrow. So... I'm about to go ahead and start building those. the mirror on the wall and then i also started adding the shelves to the bookcase um and then this is the mirror it looks perfect like it looks so good y'all it's giving store like it's giving very much so although like what this is so cute i love it so i'm about to go ahead and add all of the shelves now i did make a little mock-up on canva i'm about to go ahead and try to get my closet area as close to my little canva setup as possible got all of these little pngs and everything from different posts that i saw on tiktok different things that i saw on instagram so if you see part of your closet in this video girl shout out to you because you were part of my inspo okay we love that for you but yeah this is my mock-up i'm pretty sure i already showed you guys but we are about to try to make this turn into that sorry y'all so yesterday when i was working on the closet i was struggling because i was trying to put the rods on and it just wasn't enough space so instead of screwing the rods into the little holes that are on the side of the bookshelves what i decided to do was to just go ahead and drill a hole myself so 
I already went ahead and as y'all can see, I started putting um, all the rods and the shelves and everything up, but I left this last bookcase empty. That way I can show you guys how I did everything. I did end up today having to go to Target and picking up another bookshelf. I'm not going to be using the bookcase, but I needed more shelves. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I started putting the rods up and setting everything up so far, just so y'all can get an idea of it. And after I show y'all, I'm going to go ahead and finish adding the additional shelves and and then once I'm finished up with the shelves, I might go ahead and drill the holes for the rods. I did end up having to buy two additional rods today as well because I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more rods than I originally had planned for. But that's fine because I did have to do a return at Home Depot anyway. So it ended up working itself out. I just used the store credit to buy two more rods. So in total, I have six rods. This is what we are working with so far. So in the first bookcase, I did go in and screw in three rods. So I have two at the top and then I have one at the bottom. Typically when people do this, they do only use one rod. Like they'll do one rod here and then one rod down here. And then this is not an additional shelf. Like this is the bookcase. You can't remove the middle part. So this is what it looks like. I ended up doing one rod at the top and then adding a shelf under it. That way I could like sit my actual tops on there and they won't all fall through the bottom. So I have tops at the top and then I have my bottoms here and then underneath my bottoms is like I said that middle little shelf that you can't remove and then I did a rod at the bottom and down here is all of my like dresses in this section over here I decided that this is where I want to put like my perfume stand and jewelry and all of that so I have it set up how I want it so far I in both this little section right here is from oh that's Mo. so she ended up getting these little um velvet jewelry thingies jewelry organizers and putting them on here like that so i did the same thing and i got the same jewelry organizers it's her i believe i think i got these from her amazon storefront or like either linked in her video i don't know but i'm gonna have everything linked down below and i'm gonna have a um amazon storefront portion for like closet diy or whatever so you guys can see but yeah, please ignore my boyfriend in the back. He just don't care that I'm filming, clearly. So I put all my jewelry in there. I did get a pack of six. So I have like my rings in one. And then up here is like necklaces and earrings and you know just all my jewelry up here i am still waiting because i am gonna have to order some things i want to order like a perfume stand and a couple of other things and then up at the top i have this extra little cubby that i could use for whatever and then at the bottom i did two more shelves so that i can have my pants so i did jeans at the top cargos at the bottom and then i have another section which is a pretty big section actually at the bottom and this has all of my like sweatpants sweatsuits and stuff like that um on this shelf i did go ahead and start putting all of my heels like i said i did run out of shelves so i still have to put these ones up but like i said we grabbed the extra bookcase today so we're about to do that right now i'm not gonna put any shoes right here i actually want to put little decor books right there and then i put the little balloon dog there and i have another one that i'm gonna get to go um beside that one and then this extra space right here is where the shelves are gonna be and then this is the last bookcase so for the last bookcase i'm basically just gonna be copying this one and doing the same thing over here so at the top i'm gonna put my um workout clothes so i'm gonna do like sports bras and like workout sets at the top and then below that i'm gonna do my like workout bottoms workout leggings and then up underneath that i'm gonna do just one rod by itself and on that rod i'm gonna add probably like two piece sets and other little like longer pieces somewhat like dresses and stuff but I just don't want to like overstuff this area so I'm going to add more over there. I do still have to bring my vanity in here and then I also am going to get some LED lights to put in here as well. Which I did already order from Timu but I'm just waiting on the package to come in.
besties today is the last day of this closet transformation and i could not wait anymore because y'all know i'm so ready to be done with this for this entire project y'all saw i had to take my nails off y'all see the nails is back honey okay so that's how you know we're we're wrapping the project up because i was able to get my nails done me and my boyfriend went and we added this rod i don't know if y'all could see but clearly i should have did it by myself because it's crooked <laughs> Okay. 